Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. Now today's DIY is a very simple one. It's the first one of the year and it's also five items or less to create. I am using some existing items that I already had in my home and I want to go ahead and kick this year off with a very simple DIY. As a matter of fact, it even inspired me to create a playlist this year with five items or less DIYs. You guys tell me sometimes that's a lot of time or that that's a lot of supplies. Well, let's keep it simple. So I'm gonna challenge myself with five items or less, and you challenge yourself to see if you can do them as well, because a lot of you are new homeowners and you definitely need to stick to your budget and create beautiful items along the journey of making sure your finances stay intact. Let's just keep it 100 here. So guys, we're going to definitely get started with a simple DIY this year. I definitely need it. It's always raining every other day here and I'm sick and tired of the water being tracked in out of the house from umbrellas. So guess what? We're going to make an umbrella holder using a flower pot. But enough chatter, let's go ahead and get today's five supplies or less very first video out of the way and into the playlist so you guys can start creating with me. Let's go ahead and go to work. This is an umbrella holder that inspired my DIY. It sells for $115 and the owner of the business would not budge. But you know me, that just sparked creativity. So guys, a tall flower pot is basically all you need to do this DIY and some spray paint. Remember, I said less than five supplies. You got it. Just two items. So everything else I'm doing is extra. I already have three of these tall flower pots. They're on my front porch. I have several cans of partially used spray paint. This is the perfect time to get rid of it. I gave my flower pot a really good bath. I'm using dish detergent and warm water. Now, my flower pots came from at home. It was buy one, get one half, and then they had it on one of those flash finds, and you just take advantage of all of those offers. Like most flower pots, there is a drain in the very bottom. Don't worry about it, leave it plugged in. And if you want, add a little crazy glue around it so it never comes out. This colander belongs in the bottom of the flower pot. I prefer not to use it. Yes, hardware is optional. I wanted to lay out a few of these that I saw at Hobby Lobby to see what the options would be. You've got rustic, glam, modern, boho chic, vintage, and traditional. You can play with this to fit your decor or not use them at all. And as you know, I did decide to use these. And they were all 50% off and these are actually glass. I should know, I dropped one of them at Lowe's. Now I really inspected the flower pot and I noticed that there was a line around the top of the pot and I definitely did not want to drill in that area. I felt that that would probably be a very weak point. So since I am going to add hardware, I'm either going to go above that line or below. Now, as you can see, my hardware is long. It's about four and a half inches. So I'm going to apply it above the line. So if you select some of the shorter hardware, then you may want to go below the line if there is a line there for you. But with this length, I can make sure that it is a good reasonable distance away from the edge. I placed my painter's tape on one side of the flower pot, right above that line. And then I used a Sharpie to mark where I was going to drill the two holes for the hardware. And I only needed that one piece of painter's tape because once I drilled those holes, guys, I removed the painter's tape from that side and put it on the other. And my marks were already there. I drilled very slowly. I didn't apply a lot of pressure to the drill. I removed my painter's tape and placed it on the opposite side. 
these are starter holes guys so this is a small drill bit that I am using just to make sure that I don't crack this plastic or anything like that so it worked out just fine it is actually very thick plastic so now the second time around I'm going to use the correct drill bit This is my drill bit size that matches the screw that goes with the hardware. So we've gotten our starter holes done. Now we're going to use the larger drill bit to open up the holes a little bit wider for what we need them to do. A lot of times these plastics can be a little flimsy or cheap so you want to play it on the safe side and as we all know it is possible to get a beautiful DIY from a cheap inexpensive item now, I don't want to waste any paint on the inside of the flower pot so I'm using a trash bag and some painters tape and I'm right below the line on the inside of the flower pot I'm also using some large wooden skewers to fill in the holes so when I am spray painting I don't have to worry about any paint getting into those areas those skewers really do come in handy because I'm able to lift the flower pot while I'm painting Initially, I began to paint this in the garage because it had been raining, but once I went out into the backyard to finish it up, I wasn't happy with the white, so I spray painted it silver. When I spray painted the white, I inadvertently mixed two different types of spray paint, and yeah, it got a little bit of a crackle effect on some areas. Now, some of the white spray paint leaked down inside, so I later just colored all of that with a black sharpie. So I'm going to reiterate this once again. All you need is a tall flower pot and some spray paint to get this project done. And of course you can add rock pebbles to the very bottom just to make sure it has some weight depending on the quality of your flower pot. But you know me, I'm doing a little extra right now. I use the pliers to remove the original screws from the hardware and I'm using size 10 24 screws to replace that. I decided to use the original rubber washers that came with the hardware. I have several pieces of these shelf liners around my kitchen and I love using them to grip things. I place my screws barely inside the hole and then I attach the hardware to one side just a little bit at a time. You want to alternate from one side to the next until you're completely done. Otherwise, it will be out of alignment because you'll have put the screw in one complete side and you might just be off a little bit with one of those holes, so it's best to alternate. And there you have it, my beautiful umbrella holder. It rains diagonally on our front porch and I hate having people leave their umbrellas out there when it's only getting wetter or having more dirt or grime added to it from the wind and the rain but now they can bring it inside and just place it in this container and i absolutely love it and like i said i'll add rock pebbles to the bottom just a couple of bags from dollar tree and i will consider this a done deal i hope you like it i hope you find it something that you can do in your very own home and again a flower pot and some spray paint is where you can begin. If you do extra, that's solely up to you, but I consider this a qualifier from my five supplies or less DIYs.
Well, that's it for me, guys. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you love this DIY and that you want to take it on. Get those flower pots out of the garage or wherever you have them stored waiting for spring. Utilize them right now for this. It's already something that you already have and you can keep it functioning all year long. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so today. Press that red subscribe button and then ring the bell, meaning you'll want to be notified when I have uploaded the very next video. That's right. You don't want to miss out on another five items or less. Now, do keep in mind, I have some furniture transformations coming up over the course of this year. So we'll go in and out of the five items or less. That's just to encourage you to keep going and never give up on making your home beautiful. Doesn't matter about the size, it's your home and your style. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, stay in prayer and stay creative. Again, Happy New Year.